Welcome everybody to another YouTube video. Um, in today's video, I'm going to rank Nike's top end boots. Um, there's five of them that are out and I'm gonna give my opinion on what I think um, each one belongs and why. This isn't necessarily uh, on a tech aspect. This is simply on uh, my comfort level, what I like. Um, so it's okay if you guys don't agree. Um, and like I said, I'm not going to get too techy with it because I've done that in previous videos and there's other videos. I'm just letting you guys know um, what I feel um, the order is right now at this moment for the, the Nike boots. Um, so starting at number five, uh, I'm going to put the Phantom Vision. Um, and simply for the fact that it's, I can't put my finger on it as to why I don't really like it. The materials don't feel too, um, high end. Um, this part, I mean, I know we're used to like the Superfly in the past, but this part just, it feels like it's not even supposed to be there. And it uh, feels like a lower end, um, upper I don't know what you want to call this it's not even like a knit I don't know what it is it really does just feel like a sock it's not necessary you don't have to have it on there I'm thinking of maybe trying to customize my pair not cutting it but getting it to look like this because it looks like it was supposed to be like this at one point but they decided to just throw on um, this I don't know what you want to call it um, they, they decided last minute let's add that to the boot and like I said, I can't put my finger on it as to why it's not that great of a boot to me. It's it's a good boot, don't get me wrong, but it, it just lacks, it's missing something. And as you can tell, a lot of players that were wearing it don't even really wear it. Um, but it's got the makings to be a good boot. Like I said, if you, if you would um, see everything it has and hear all the tech specs, you'd probably be, that's, you would probably think that is going to be a good boot, but for me, for some reason, it just doesn't um, cut it on, I guess, on the top end model. It feels almost like a lower end model. Um, and I was pretty excited and hyped um, to get these, but once I tried them, it just, it, it doesn't feel great and it doesn't feel bad. You know, like when you put them on, it's just like another pair of boots and, and, and it really doesn't feel like anything special, I guess, is what why. I, I put it as number five on the list. Um, so yeah, number five, Phantom Vision. All right, so going into number four, I hate to do this, but I'm going to actually put the Temple Legend 8. And just for the fact that um, a lot of people didn't seem to like it on its initial release, um, it, I don't like that they put this pattern on it. And I've seen, I don't know if it's just from use or wear, but a lot of pros have smooth leather variations. But it could just be, you know, from using it, I don't know if this just stretches out and became smooth but I have seen a lot of pros player pro players wearing it and it's smooth all right here so obviously a lot of people if that is the case where Nike altered um, the product for their pros then obviously there's something wrong with the boot or something they didn't like and basically what they're trying to sell us is not something good but a lot of people said these were like a, a leather mercurial basically and I would say that I would say it's more of a leather material than the TechCraft that released. Um, as you can see, that's that the TechCraft is like an honorable mention because I feel like it's a whole boot on itself. I don't think it's really mercurial, but I don't think it's that bad to not be mercurial or not to be a top end model. So that would be an honorable mention. But you know, I wish I could put this up higher. But I just you just can't beat the Legend Seven. Um, but I do applaud Nike for trying to change, to, to innovate what they had. 
I know you don't fix what's not broken, but if they just released another seven with some minor difference, I don't think people would be happy and I know people wouldn't be happy. So I applaud Nike trying to change the, the boot up and innovate it, but I feel they did too much when they didn't need to. Cause obviously, like I said, it's, it was a great, the seven was a great boot and and forget what you what people tell you about oh defenders have to wear legends or you can't just ronaldinho played in temples his whole career almost um he did start off with the mercurial but he he played in temples for his whole career so it, it can be used and now and it's so light now that you know you put it in your hand and you close your eyes you don't even know that you're holding the temple anymore if it wouldn't be for the leather upper when you feel it then you wouldn't know so number four would have to be the temple just because they changed it a little too much when I don't feel they needed to. All right, so moving on to the number three spots, and I feel everybody knows this. Um, I'm going to put the Phantom Venom. Um, and it would be number one, honestly, if it wasn't for the other for the number one and the two spot. Um, this would be number one for me. I enjoy playing in this. I like it a lot. It feels comfortable, it's good. But the thing is, this stuff to me, it doesn't work and I've seen other people um, complain where this is peeling off. So it's like, you're selling us a product based off something and then it's failing after, I don't know how many uses or whatever, but you would think if they make a product, you know, it's because it's going to last. If that's the technology on the shoe that's going to help your game, what happens if these all come off? So then, therefore, that technology is no longer uh, on the boot and, therefore, not useful to you. So, you know, uh, it, it'd be like trying to sell a car that is made for speed and you get it and you can only drive it fast for a week and then after that it's slow <laughs> if you understand that a uh, little analogy but so um but it's a very comfortable boot it's light as well i feel like all boots now are gearing towards being lighter um so durability is always going to be an issue probably with the newer boots because they're light um, but this one's held up pretty good um, and I really, I really, really do enjoy playing in this because it's not a narrow, it's not too much of a narrow, it's narrow enough, but not uh, overly narrow where, you know, um, it's going to feel tight and constricted on your foot. So that it's just perfect. And, and, and the rubber element, it, it does feel nice on the ball when you're dribbling and, and, and passing and, and taking shots. It, it does feel good on the ball. So that's good. Um, the little coating that's over the fly knit, but um, the thing is too, like, you know, what if for the, for the Venom and the, and the, and the Vision, or sorry, the Vision and the Phantom, like what happens when your shoelaces rip or something and you got it, or you want to change them, like it's got to be a pain to have to get underneath here and do all that. So, I mean, it's, it's, it, it is going to give you a clean strike surface and it does. Um, but at the same time, I don't think it's necessary because if they had something that worked in the past like the, the total 90s that just had side lacing like I think that was enough I don't think your laces are gonna get that much in the way to uh, make you mess up or anything like that take a bad shot if you take a bad shot it's just you taking a bad shot so definitely my number three spot is the Phantom Venom great shoe all right so now we're down to our last two um, and this is these could be flipped um, either or let me just explain to you why I put one over the other so for my number two spot I chose the Superfly um, and the reason I chose the Superfly in the number two spot is because I don't feel it's that much of a change from the Vapor. So this shoe came from the Vapor. Therefore, you can't kind of, you know, it's kind of like the, 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 the student can never surpass the teacher. 
because if that came if this came from it's always going to be second it'll always be second to me because um it just it it it, it came off one so you're not gonna you're not gonna surpass it basically is what i'm trying to say i know there's a lot of gibberish a lot of nothing going around but and also one of the things now that they're just the same it's the same exact boot almost the only thing different is this little collar so therefore um it, it it's a bigger price tag and for no reason at all just to just because it has that um extra thing on top so with that being said in the past they it was a different shoe you know the 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 vapor was made of um some different material than this was made of flying it so it actually did offer a different feel and i so i preferred the superflies back then uh versus like the vapor 10 you know 11 uh those i can for some reason i just couldn't tie tight around my ankle so I, it wasn't a, a bad thing like i didn't have you know lockdown issues or or anything like that it was just it would just be annoying because my ankle around the ankle was just so loose and i no matter how much i would tighten them um or do anything like i just i just they just would not stay tight at all and that that i didn't like so then when i went to the superfly and that was an extremely good tight feeling shoe on my foot and um it, it, it felt nice um like i said i think you had to get used to wearing the the, the ankle area for the for the um, superfly but once you did, it felt good. Um, so for me, this has to be number two because you, if you came from something, you can't never surpass that is what I'm trying to say. And then the price tag, it just, at this point in time for the shoe being exactly the same, there's no point in paying extra money when you can just get the low cut version and the original, the original vapor, you know, just, just stick with that. So that's why I put Superfly at number two. All right, so moving on. In number one, obviously, you know, I talked about it. Um, it's going to go to the Vapor 13. Now, um, like I said, this, this is what made me not like the tech craft because I was expecting it to uh, perform just as good as this. And don't get me wrong, the Techcraft is a good boot, but I feel with time when it stretches and and all that, you know, supposed to be and it wasn't, it, it, it kind of failed in that regards. And um, I don't think they're selling out. Uh, last I checked, they were still on website on Nike.com anyway. So, but this this is what started the whole boot craze, I would say, um, for Nike anyway. Um, that that vapor one ronaldo wearing it in, in the brazil colorway and even before that you know in 98 when he busted those out and in 97 when he had them whatever those just changed every it was kind of like jordan with 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 his jordan one that just you know everybody wanted it i would think and everybody wants vapors now in in i've seen people who knew they couldn't get their foot in them and still wanted to try them and just because like everybody wants the look. I don't know. It just has a certain look. You just feel a certain way on the field. And and like I said, this beats the Superfly because it was the original. Without this, there is no Superfly. Um, so how could you put something you know, above it when this is basically your number one? I think this has kind of kept Nike uh, above certain other brands for the football boots. Um, because of the vapor and and I, I I just think it's a you know a good boot. Um, it's a little weird because I, I I they advertise it. They've always advertised it for fast players. I think they just got lucky um, that they promoted it on people who are fast. They just kind of hit and stuck with that. Yes, it was supposedly supposed to be lighter and, and made to be lighter, but I don't feel they wanted to gear they wanted to gear it towards just. Um, uh, people who were fast um, because back then you know everybody kind of wore the vapor defenders everybody so it wasn't until now with uh, social media where you could use uh, 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 that type of stuff to promote things where they kind of 
um, split up the boots and and made the tempo line for defenders and these for midfielders and these for like fast forwards and stuff like that. Let me tell you, I am not fast at all. My game doesn't rely on my speed. That's not um, what gets me through a match. Um, but for some reason, like no matter, I can play in any other boot. Don't get me wrong. I can play in any boot and be comfortable, but it's just something that, you know, when I've tried wearing the tempo or, and then I'll switch through in training uh, when I'm training, I switch back into the vapor, and it's just something that just feels so right. I can't really describe it. You know, I'm sure people know what that, what I'm talking about. But it's just that feeling like you put that, you put the shoe on, and your foot just, it just wraps your foot so nice, and and you take a couple shots or a couple free kicks, and it just feels so right. And you know, I've said to myself like, man, as much as I want to not be a vapor man. When I put it on and I, and I, and I kick the ball or, or do anything, it just feels so right, you know, uh, and, and, I, and I love Tampos and, and I love this, this the Venom, um, but I, I, I will never get away from, you know, uh, the Vapor and, and who knows, I don't know if I'll be able to wear it when I'm old, hopefully I keep playing many, many more years. But for now, you know, it's still the boot that I like to play in the most and the one that I wear the most. Um, so, yeah, that's that's why it's going to be my number one. Um, and again, they did another good job. They improved um, the from the 12. They improved on the 13. I kind of wish they would have done something like that with the with the Legend 8 just because, you know, the 7 was such a good one. And, you know, they kind of just changed it all up. But they went from the 12, and they didn't really change it that much. Um, but they upgraded it, and to make it even, you know, better boot. So, it and 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 a lot of these boots now. The good thing is, no matter what you pick, you can be assured that you can just take them right onto the pitch. You don't have to break them in as much. So that's another plus. You know, I like to sometimes just take my boots right in games and not have to break them in. So, no matter what. All these five, you know, you can switch them around any way you want. It just depends on uh, what you like and, and, and how you feel. Like I said, I, I shouldn't be wearing a, a, a Vapor, but that's just what is comfortable to me. That's just what I've always liked. Nothing feels better striking the ball, passing the ball, anything. Even running, this just feels great. And it was always a psychological thing when I would wear Vapors and switch to my temples. And, and I was like, gosh, these are heavy back then. Now... Eh, the weight is not so much of an issue but the feel you know i don't know if it's a stud pattern although the stud pattern for this is really good as well but switching back and forth through boots you know i don't know it's just tough to not want to wear this so if you haven't tried it which i don't know how many people haven't definitely pick up a pair of vapors or even the superfly if you want to like dish out the extra money which i'm saying you don't you don't need to. These are the exact same boot. There's nothing different. I've said in previous videos, and people might argue with me and tell me it's a different boot. It is not anymore. Before, yes, not anymore. Um, but yeah, so like I said, you can't go wrong with any of these five boots, and they could all be interchangeable. You might have this one at number one or, or whatever, depending on if they pay you enough, I guess. Nah, just kidding. Um, but yeah, so that's my video for today i hope you guys enjoyed it like i said uh give this video a like if you give it a dislike if you if you dislike the video um i would like to know why but it's just to um make my videos better because i've seen some videos that i get disliked and i'm just like wow i didn't i didn't even do anything like why why does it deserve a dislike i, I could just come and say this boot is white and it's made of kangaroo leather in the video and it would get a dislike when i'm just saying the truth about the boot or giving my opinion even so if you do end up giving a dislike i will i would like to hear why and just so i can work on you know future videos because i want to uh make content for you guys this is not for me this is to help you guys so anything that i can learn from you know is, is a bonus for me and a plus so don't be afraid to leave a comment and if you like the video let me know why too um did i do a good enough explanation uh did did i give you guys some knowledge that you didn't know 
Did I help you guys in any way of choosing what you wanted to buy? Uh, let me know. Or even shoot me an email if you don't want to leave a comment. Um, that's okay too. So, um, That's my video for today. Like, comment, subscribe. I know you guys can see that little thing right there. And that's basically what it's telling you to like, comment, subscribe. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Until the next one. Peace.